guys. I hope y'all are having a great day out there, guys. We've returned up to the park. And now uh, we're going to set up the ramp somewhere over here, I believe. I've been trying to look around all over the place for a nice, really long stretch of road um, that kind of goes off into a dirt or grass or something. And I haven't had a terrible amount of luck. But we're going to try setting up here and see what kind of launch we can get out of Typhon and a few other cars. I brought along with me the Creighton XL and the Sledge and the Typhon 6S. Trevor will be here momentarily at the ramps today, guys. So we're going to have some fun. So stay tuned, everybody. All right. Got the ramp out here. We're going to bust the Sledge out first. Sorry if there's wind noise, guys, but it's a windy day. We're going to get lined up. First launch here. Wow, that wind is kicking. The sledge's first launch. Nice. <laughs> Couldn't quite hit it dead straight, but still flew pretty decent. All right, let's go for ramp number two. Oh, it took a bounce. And I actually did tape together my power connector this time so that it doesn't keep coming unplugged. The steering, man, this thing's got some torque twist going on though. Like whenever I really get on it at the last second, it wants to dart off. <laughs> man, the sledge is flying. Nice. <laughs> Launcher again? <laughs> ah, pulled a double, but she bounced. Well, guys, the sledge so far is taking it pretty good. You guys know we are running the M2C Racing chassis on here with the M2C Racing motor mount. I'm, I am still running the forward motor mount design, the original one from Traxxas. But um, everything else has been holding up great. I'm also running the new M2C Racing Beefcake Drive Cap, Drive Shafts, and the Diff Cups. And because uh, that's always been a common thing with those Diff Cups breaking. So. Send, send the sledge some more, like I said. Um, I also got along with me the Typhon 6S and the new Creighton XL. So hopefully get a few runs in. Maybe get a few videos out here today as long as nothing breaks too soon. Trevor is getting his... Not sure what he's putting a battery in right now, but Trevor is gonna run one of his here shortly too. All right, well, Trevor's got his battery in his sledge. That's what he brought up. I don't know what else he brought up with him, but <laughs> we're gonna give the sledge another launch here. I'm hoping this wind isn't too bad on camera, guys. Yo! <laughs> Oh man, that was such a beautiful jump and it just had to bounce. And no, I haven't done any work on my suspension yet. Still getting too much rebound on it. I honestly forgot um, to work on this when I was fixing other things, but maybe after this bash I will. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try and get this thing full speed. I haven't been able to hit it wide open yet. Ooh, that was close. I just, just touched the edge of that ramp. Try that again. Let's try this again. Beautiful. Wow. That one was nice and smooth. The air control on the sledge is quite nice. Here comes Trevor. Is he going to ram? Nice. <laughs> Beautiful black flip, dude. Uh oh. You broke something though. I bet you either a dry shaft popped out or you broke an input cup. All right, well, Trevor's uh, rear dry shaft popped out. It's weird, I never really had that happen. I usually broke them, but he's had them popping out a couple times. Ooh, ah, oh, I can jump, I can't land. Well, I was trying to wait till the wind stopped, but I don't think it's going to. <laughs> it was just like total silence and free fall. 
really would like to get this thing up to full speed, but I got this torque twist going. I think the Typhon is definitely going to be the winner for this runway. Wow. Whoa, what the heck? I don't know what happened there. It was weird. I could not get it to finish rotating. It just, it was dead. No matter how hard I hit the gas, it didn't want to rotate. I had to level it back out again. I think everything survived. She came down a little heavy on the front, but body's not coming off anymore. This clip has been working great. Give it another launch. Beautiful, but the landings are ugly. I just got to expect this. Got to do some work to the suspension. I don't know if I need to go different springs and different oil or just different oil. Comes a sledge. That time it was fine. You guys could see that rebound there. I hit the gas or it would have flipped over. But it's weird. Uh, I don't know what happened on that last jump. It just completely stalled out. Well, that was a dud. <laughs> that was my best of the day right there. Trevor's salty because I didn't just catch his backflip. Nice. Oh! Uh-oh. That sounds like I knocked a motor loose. Come on. Hit it. <laughs> now he's faking me out. All right. So we can get her out there a little further. That was definitely the furthest so far. Came in a little bit, a little bit hotter that time. Was able to. It pulls to the left. Once I get on about half throttle and over that, it starts pulling to the left really hard. Might have to. I know the diff oils are good because I just had re had to rebuild all of them, and so I know that's not the issue. Like it's the wrong diff oil or too light or anything like that. So might have to check the camber on this thing too. Oh, well, I definitely just broke something. <laughs> I tried to pull a little too many rotations off of that one and got greedy. And that front wheel, I'm going to guess an A-arm. That doesn't look too good. <laughs> Body's a little kinked in. You towed up, boss. <laughs> it is a little towed up. Well, it's an easy fix, but I don't have the part. The front cup busted sheared off the back uh, the bottom screw on it um like i said i got a little too trigger happy there was trying to see how many backflips i could get out of that i was hoping to actually land it but yeah usually anything over three it's i i honestly kind of lose track of it guys and it's like i see some of the guys you know, i know duper bash and rc dude and stuff i watch them guys and the amount of rotations they get and still successfully land it um I haven't hit that level of expertise with backflips, I guess, yet. <laughs> but the sledge is out. Um, but everything else has been holding up great. All the dry shafts, the M2C diff cups uh, have been holding up great. Motor mount, working out great on this thing. Um, but, unfortunately, the cup didn't hold up too well. Also, the Basher Queen shock towers. Um, I am going to be testing out the M2C shock towers. I haven't put them on here yet, but I've been still running the carbon fiber Basher Queen shock tires on here. And those things have been holding up great, even with bad landing. So, I'm going to continue running these for a little while. But anyway, guys, um, I'm going to check and see how much footage I got here. And if uh, we're going to bring another car or just call it a day with the sledge.